What's up? This is Claude Tor. I hope you guys uh, enjoy my video today. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, lightning, and it's gonna be awesome. So all you need is Premiere Pro, and that's all you're gonna need is Premiere Pro and Claude Tor. We're gonna be able to teach you guys some lightning. Uh, any, how to manipulate lightning in Premiere Pro. So let's get right to it. So uh, we got. Uh, when you open Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro, you're going to have something similar to this. I want you to click, left click into the import media and then control I. Then grab your video that you want to import your lightning onto, your lightning effect. Okay, now, uh, should be any video of any kind. Now just drop that video right into where it says drop media here. Well, I'm going to delete my audio because I don't need it for what I'm going to show you guys today. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see where I want to start my lightning. Okay. So I'm going to hit play. So right when I get my light, I wanted a couple frames before. Right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my razor tool and I'm going to trim my video right here. Because I don't want lightning before this point. Okay. I'm going to go back to my pointer selection. I'm going to grab my video that I want to import my lightning to. All right, so how do you import your lightning? We come right into here to this little double arrow here and hit effects. Type in light, lightning, whatever you want. Double click lightning. As long as you have this highlighted over, you can double click or grab this and drop it into there. Now you have lightning over here. You see this lightning? Let's highlight, grab that lightning. So the first thing I like to do is go straight into the width. This is just my personal preference. I like to fatten that sucker up. All right, so you want to make sure fixed endpoints on. I believe that should always be on. So now lightning is not going to work any other way. If you, you try to use it any other way than what I'm showing you here, it has to be in a video. It cannot be an adjustment layer. You got to have this fixed endpoint. You got to have that selected on. Okay, now you're going to select. No, I want to do my time frames. Okay, so I'm going to grab my time frames here. Bam, bam. So I'm going to highlight lightning. So you see these little balls. These are these are the orbs that are that you want to keep in the palm of your hand. So I'm going to put. And the way you can tell if it's started beginning, whatever one you move here, if it's moving the start point then this is the start point in case you're ever wondering and don't try not to move these off the screen man you move them off the screen and obviously you're not going to be able to see what the heck you're doing so what i like to do is i go one hand at a time yeah you guys can do whatever way you wish but so i just hit my arrow key over and as soon as i see it kind of fall out of adjustment i simply move the orb into the palm of my hand now, the more you do this and the more frames that, that you do this, the easier, not the easier, the smoother it's going to look. And, and, and you advanced guys all know that, you know, so you, in, in what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till like, I'm going to do a hand exchange here. Whoops. I'm going to wait right before my hand exchange. And then I'm going to uh, start doing the time crop, the time frames for my other hand. Because if you if 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 you if you get it off rotation, bam, right there. That's where I want it to be. If you get it off rotation like this, it's hard. You all you really got to technically do is keep that orb right in the palm of your hand. So let's just keep doing that one hand at a time here. Keep that orb right in the palm of your hand as soon as it starts to get out of there move that sucker in there you know so all i'm doing is just hitting forward or uh right on the uh the directional pads here right and left or sorry right to to go to go forward in the video and then if you if you uh use anything else to try to move that ball right there where that i'm moving it's never going to happen. You have to move it the way I'm doing it. You have to do it in this sequence. And if you do not, <laughs> it's, you're you're going to have hell to pay, man. It, it'll be relentless for you. 
I would advise doing it exactly the way I'm doing it. You know, and you see how I'm not letting it get far away from, I like to, it's got to be directly in the palm of my hands, you know, it's, it's so easy once you get going to screw something up as well. Boom. And right there, I'm going to throw it off and then I'm going to go a couple frames. And then I'm going to cut my film. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning. And how I did that is, see how I did that? I just went back on this time frame right here and I hit back. So that's when I know that this orb ended right here. So let's just hit forward. Okay, let's have it kind of suck in a little. Oh, see how I went there and it didn't move that? That's prime example. I'm going to hit Control z to back that up. Now, you want to do everything from right here. See how that's going to move the pinpoint of that electricity. But see, I have a time frame that was ahead of them right here. Just delete that time frame out of there. So now, let's keep going ahead, keep going ahead. So now right before, see how it snaps right there? I want a couple frames before that. Then I'm going to I'm gonna hit my time key so it's going to lock right here. So within these two, three, four, five, five frames, this lightning is going to, um, we're looking at the orb, this lightning is going to snap into this hand. I gave it five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. See how that is? So bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, four, five. Five frames. Now you just simply keep going like we did on the other hand. And keep that ball in the center. And do whatever you have to do. I mean, for your purposes, I don't really want to zoom out or zoom in a little anymore. Because I'm, I'm able to do this. But you want to get right in there. You want to get right in there and get that. Make sure that orb is in the palm of the hands. Don't pay attention to the electricity whatsoever. And get that orb right into there. Okay. And I had to make all these movements here to be cool, you know what I mean? But it's just to show you guys that this is it's to do a, a true lightning effect I mean, not you know. This is this is how long it's gonna take you, you know. And this is after you've done it for quite a few. T I've done it probably ten, fifteen times. See, right in here is where I'd blow it up, but I can see it from where I'm at, you know. But I probably would blow it up in any other circumstances. But for your guys' sake, and to get this ball moving, you probably already understand what's going on here. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to click off the lightning. So now let's see what we got here. I want to see if, if we're, if we're somewhat satisfied with the way it looks, make sure it makes sense with the hand movements. Okay, you see how I rotate? See how I did all? All I did was kept that in the palm of my hand. Okay, so 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 why not? Uh, so let's go here and let's uh, control I. Just out of nowhere, let's just hit control I to import some stuff here. Okay, I have this already preloaded from my other videos. It's called Zap, and I'm just going to put Zap on. It's audio up until uh, the lightning hits. So now we're going to have audio in our video. So here is the full ending of my lightning tutorial, which I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it helps you out a lot.